everybody, this is Giga Titan here, bringing you the ninth episode part of the playthrough of Pokemon Rumble. And this is pretty much just, I'm trying to buy some time right now because I'm working on two really important videos and they're going to take a while because I'm going to try to get them as best I can and today is like a monsoon. I have a really bad headache because, uh, it's just the wind's driving me crazy. I get really bad headaches when there's wind and, but I'm going to be trying to do my best at getting you guys those videos, but for now, we have this and so let's enjoy it. So my brother and I are just cruising on through these, uh, the Eternal Tower on Rank B, Bizzle, and these guys are pushovers because until you get to the higher ranks in the game, most of the opponents will be pushovers and that's good news for uh, people starting out. You can play this game with your parents, you know, because they'd actually be able to do well at this game. They even could do great because it's so simple. And that's, uh, if you guys have, you know, if you want to, I don't know, for some reason, if you want to play this with your family, but it's better for playing with friends. So if you have friends, first couple levels, not couple levels, I guess like the first whole rank is very easy. At least uh, the mode, like normal mode's all relatively easy. So do not fret, don't think this, you have to have super skills to be able to do well at this game. No, you can just do this and you'll be fine. So, yeah, so these guys are definite pushovers. Uh, Weezings are the only ones that are not dying in one hit. But I'm player two, my brother's player one. So uh, he is Weezing and I am uh, Sea King. And I don't know why I'm Sea King, because there's much better Pokemon out there than Sea King. Sorry, you know, Sea King's not that cool. I'm, I don't know, he's just kind of the same thing as Goldeen with the different colors. You know, yeah, he's okay. So I have homework. That I need to do after this, so I won't be able to work on those videos just yet. But just so you know, it's gonna be uh, how to make a YouTube thumbnail slash, you know, video I your your channel icon basically the thing you know my little thumbs up thing that I have on uh, in the little thumbnail where it's under you know next to my name and stuff. I'll teach you guys how to do that. Um, you don't need Photoshop or anything. I'll try to make it as easy as possible. So. Yeah, um, so we're on the boss now. Boss is like the buds. It's hard to tell at first when they're really tiny. So this guy is so easy. Like, you, I don't know if there's like a, sp a certain order you're supposed to go in because, I mean, this is like the one in the bottom right. So we thought it'd be the hardest. I guess they're all kind of the same level. You just got to complete them all. So uh, we did that in about three minutes, excluding the intro. So, yeah. And the little trampoline thing comes down. We get a bunch of money uh, from this guy, and we get also we actually get to keep the boss. We get a techie Electabuzz, which makes the weaker move stronger. So um, I'm the Winrar here, and so let's go on and just jump over to the challengey thingy, the battle royale. Let's do this. So. Uh, I am now Electabuzz because I thought he would be a lot better than um, just like Seeking. And he actually is, his quick attack is really handy. So let's do this. B A T T L E R O Y A L E, Battle Royal. Let's do this once again. And so we're in the middle of the desert or something, and there's Alakazam, uh, something, something, and some other people that can't say it fast enough. You'll see. Three, two, one, let's kill. Okay, so I'm using quick attack. My brother's just using, uh, tackle. Cool. And these guys are also very easy because we actually played through, uh, this level multiple times. Well, not this, I mean, we played through multiple stages. Like, we went back to the fiery furnace again to get better guys. So, we're actually starting to, uh, kind of you know, go back and do the levels over to get better Pokemon. So these guys, uh, it just made it a little easier to beat these guys. Even though we actually just got these Pokemon, but they're still easy anyway. So Golem just gets, you know, steamrolled right there. Doesn't even get a chance to do anything because we just paralyzed it and I just used Quick Attack on it. So it's Alakazam's turn to try to do something. And it's almost already dead. My brother doesn't even help me yet on them, um, on Alakazam. And now he's gone, so we're doing good. We have a lot of time left, we have like 211 seconds, so we are not concerned in the least. And Gengar comes out and goes away, so that was easy as well. 
this game is once again relatively easy so I don't, don't think you need to have lots of skills to do this uh, we're just attacking Machamp now ganging up on him always a good tactic and he gets knocked out so I think there is one guy left maybe maybe not no I don't think there is it is the last two guys yeah and there goes Bellsprout so we have completed the rank B battle royale so we can now go on to rank A of normal mode which still is easy <laughs> it only gets semi difficult when you go up to advance the advanced uh, mode and that is some of the later levels in that are a little difficult but it really uh, when you get to the EX grade that's when it gets difficult so here comes the rank A trampoline our wonder key has been upgraded somehow that actually does anything and we have the launch pad now so we go ahead and run over to the A rank thing jump on the trampoline and now you are one step closer yes you are one step closer to becoming champion woohoo